In this video, we present our novel reenactment method called Head-on. Head-on enables the full control over a portrait video. Here we see our live setup. On the left is the source actor driving the target actor shown on the screen. The source actor is captured by a Structure I.O. depth camera attached to an iPad. We stream the data to a desktop machine that processes the input signal and generates reenactment output. Head-on is based on a short RGBD video sequence of the target actor. From this sequence, we extract a proxy mesh using voxel hashing. To generate an animatable rig, a face template is automatically fit to this mesh. Using dense correspondences between the face mesh and the scanned mesh, we transfer blend shapes to the proxy. This automatic rigging enables us to fully animate the target proxy mesh. Since the scanned colors of voxel hashing are coarse, we propose a view-dependent image synthesis. We partition the target proxy mesh into three parts, head, neck, and body. For these three parts, we retrieve the nearest textures from the initial video sequence. We then render the mesh into the space of the target image, compensating for the incomplete reconstruction by using an image warp field. We then composite all three parts to generate the desired output image. During runtime, we track the source actor expressions and movements using a multilinear model of the face and a rigid proxy model for the upper body. We transfer these parameters to the target actor rig and re-render it. Since the rigid head pose of the source and the modified target actor are the same, we project the mouth from the source to the target image, ensuring a temporally coherent mouth interior. The eye textures are retrieved from a calibration sequence of the target actor using the eye motions of the source actor. Here we show some additional close-ups. Head-on allows self-reenactment. If you have an important Skype call, but you are not wearing your business attire, you can easily switch to a pre-recorded target sequence. If your team has lost, you can switch to the jersey of the winning team. A core component of our pipeline is temporally consistent background subtraction. Here we show an input sequence and the corresponding estimated foreground mask. On the right is the composite of the foreground onto a new background image. Here we show a comparison to face-to-face. Our approach is able to transfer the rigid head and body motions, while face-to-face -face only transfers the expressions. Here we show a comparison to bringing portraits to life. Note that their approach only needs a single image of the source actor. Who et al. demonstrated state-of-the-art avatar digitalization based on a single color image. Our approach is fundamentally different from avatar digitization which creates stylized 3D avatars that can be used in games. Here we show additional live sequences. Thank you for watching.